We're on a roll here at Watch Mojo. We called Ryu and Bayonetta for Smash Bros, as well as Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil 2 getting full remakes, so we're striking the iron while it's hot. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most wanted video game compilations and bundles. You want every part of this insanity. For this list, we're taking a look at a bunch of video games that we want to see brought together in a single set, with priority given to candidates that have more to offer than just slapping three or four games together. <laughs> It's the bad guys! We've also excluded the Banjo-Kazooie games because they're already available in the Rare Replay Collection, along with several other stellar titles. <laughs> Number 10, Lego. Instructions to fit in, have everybody like you, and always be happy. Step one, breathe. Lego has adapted some of our favorite franchises into video games, from Star Wars to Indiana Jones to Harry Potter and more Star Wars. One would expect that these licensed games would be nothing more than quick cash grabs. But much like the LEGO movie though, it's clear that the developers throw a ton of effort into every title. This is all very dramatic, isn't it? Always putting a humorous spin on a familiar story, the LEGO games have been consistently creative, inventive, and addictively fun. No matter how many games we play, we'll never get sick of breaking blocks and collecting studs. The LEGO collection would be a perfect gift for the kid in all of us. Number 9, Kingdom Hearts. As a team, we can do anything. Yeah, come on. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't Kingdom Hearts already have a bundle? Well, yes and no. Yes, by the fact that there's the 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8 remix packs. And no, because said bundles are sold separately across two different consoles. A worrying trend that Square Enix has gotten into lately. In gratitude for being so brave and saving us all, I hereby officially dub the Royal Musketeers. Worse still, the DS games 358 Days Over 2 and Recoded are not playable in these current packages, but rather they're just cutscene compilations. <laughs> Come on, Square Enix, is it too much to ask to be able to experience the whole convoluted series in one convenient box and uh, without needing to invest in multiple systems? <laughs> what are you saying? Number 8, Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> As mentioned before, the Rare Replay Collection features some phenomenal games. Sadly, the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy isn't among them. <laughs> Nintendo can still release their own compilation, however, encompassing the timeless adventures of Donkey, Diddy, and Dixie Kong. While the original SNES games would be more than enough to satisfy us, we'd also love to see the newer titles from Retro Studios included as well. On a final note, it's very important to us that this collection comes in a bright yellow banana box. We can't stress that enough, Nintendo. <laughs> Number 7, The Witcher. You just spent the past 200 hours beating The Witcher 3 in its entirety? Well, what are you gonna do next? Maybe go back and replay the first two games, that sounds like a plan. You got a better idea? If you're looking for a game trilogy that'll completely immerse you in its compelling world and keep you up all night, The Witcher is the answer to your prayers. We must choose. Shame or a Witcher's sword. That might sound like a huge commitment to casual gamers, but once you get a small taste of Geralt's story though, you'll want to explore every inch of his world. A collection would also be a great way for Western players to experience the history of The Witcher before it became a game series. Perhaps it could include an interview with the original author, whose name I'm sure you can't pronounce, maybe clips from the Hexer TV series and film, or stills from the graphic novels. Where do we even start? No matter how fast you run, no matter how far you go, the beast will follow. Number 6, Souls series. Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. Over the last few years, the Souls games have earned quite a legacy within the most hardcore of the gaming community. And with director Hidetaka Miyazaki announcing that Dark Souls 3 will be the last in the series, it would be a perfect way to cement their legacy. On top of Demon Souls, the three Dark Souls games, and technically Bloodborne, the package could go even further and include King's Field, the precursor to Demon Souls. Another possibility is a boss rush mode across the five core games, with extra objectives such as limited flasks or limited bonfires for the most determined of players. Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. 
Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. Number five, Crash Bandicoot. As much as we hate to admit it, it seems like Crash Bandicoot's best years are behind him. That is unless Naughty Dog decides to take another crack at the character who put them on the map. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. In any case, we'd love to revisit the video game icon's glory days with a long overdue HD remastered collection. You can't go wrong with the original Bandicoot trilogy, which is damn packed with some of the slickest platforming gameplay the 90s had to offer. Crash Team Racing would also be a nice bonus, making the Crash Collection an essential for parties. Number 4, Telltale Games. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! From Back to the Future to The Wolf Among Us, Telltale has given us some of the best story driven games ever. Highest ratings ever for both the TV networks and the American Psychiatric Association's emergency helpline. What's so impressive about this game developer is how diverse their various titles are. Some of their games hit us hard on an emotional level, such as The Walking Dead. Others are laugh riots, like Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Ooh, what game is that? The candy ball game? It's Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people! Every Telltale game has one thing in common, though. Each will leave you eagerly awaiting the next episode. Trust me, you want no part of this insanity. <laughs> if Telltale were to release their own game library in a collection, playing through it would be even more addictive than streaming shows on Netflix. Yes, I'm still watching, dammit, keep playing! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! Number 3, Mario Kart. <laughs> Although the 3D equivalent of Super Mario All-Stars sounds tempting, a Mario Kart collection would simply be the best. The idea of having a Mario Kart party starting with the N64 Wario Stadium to GameCube's Baby Park and topping it off with some Waluigi Pinball from the DS version without having to change your console setup sounds like a dream. The N64 tracks could finally get some of their game-breaking exploits fixed, you'd finally be able to play the classic stages online, hell, we could go on forever about the endless possibilities of this package. Number 2, Resident Evil series. Oh! Capcom, as of late, has been allowing fans to revisit the origins of the series thanks to the HD remasters of Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero. And as we mentioned earlier, Resident Evil 2 is also getting a remake. Hold your fire! I'm a human! Honestly, the thought of a full collection, regardless of whether or not Nemesis gets the same treatment, would be a must have for any fans of this long running series. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Furthermore, the idea of having all the extra console exclusive modes and features in one place is something that's long overdue. Captain! Hello? Hello! Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman! I set a trap and you sprang it gloriously! Oh, you are a smart one! I understand now! Number one, Castlevania. Castlevania is one of those franchises that's really hard to keep up with thanks to its out-of-order continuity and its titles being spread across multiple consoles. That's a shame, since the games themselves are literally one classic after another, with a few exceptions. From the original NES trilogy to the handheld Metroidvania titles, there are too many mind-blowing games in this series to list here. That's exactly why we need all of them assembled for one big monster mash. If you haven't played the likes of Super Castlevania 4 or Symphony of the Night, you have no idea what you're missing. Of course, you could probably afford to skip Simon's Quest. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> What's your most desired video game compilation? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough!